Assalamu alaikum, be quiet please, assalamu alaikum, assalamu alaikum, assalamu alaikum, we're going to have a malakat right away, we're going to have a standing malakat, assalamu alaikum, please, please, your attention. I believe in in my first place. If anyone loves God, then he is the fancy of God. No It is impossible for one to love God and not to love his place. It is impossible for one to love God. It is so hard to do it. If you love an artist, how can you love hate? I love the poet and I hate the poet who spoke to you. If you really love God, then you must love this creation. And with this message I go around Do I know the number? Are you surprised by the number? Not at all. You mean uh, uh, unpleasantly surprised? By the shortness of the number, you mean? Well, I, I wasn't saying the shortness of the number, but the, the support is changing. We are an up and coming community which is spreading much faster in the present time. It's not the speed. Just to study our initiation in the last few years, it surprise anyone that the 
I said, so you mean I'm unfairly surprised? Because I thought perhaps and I didn't tell you to leave that in America should also pick up the same place. And, uh, the country which needs to be delivered this message, very important. Most of all the country. Because America is so powerful. And now left alone. Responsibility in belonging to a country so powerful, and if America is kept in the right path, then the whole world will turn into a heaven. And America can do that with means potential to that. Only what is lacking is will. What is wrong with the will, I believe, is that national. Nationalism. This is the curse of the world. Instead of internationalism, instead of humanitarianism, instead of absolute values, and absolute justice, just sticking to the dark areas of national loyalties, which, when pitched against other national loyalties, create problems. Because peace can only be attained. Absolute values and nationalism stand in the way. The people who spoke to you today, Big the part? families who came in and yes. spoke to you today, was there a common theme? Did they have common problems, or was everyone different? Or 
I think uh, human beings have a common problem everywhere. I don't see humanity divided into American and African and Fijians and Irish and so on. Art is a universal community. And I have a sense of belonging to all of them, 144 countries of the world. And this is how we train animals. They must forget about all the barriers which stand between one man and another. And only this way we can achieve a universality which is what man needs so much today. different things. I talk to them and, you know, the love which flows from both of us, the warmth, is so spontaneous and so spontaneous, you know, coming like with open arms going to me and coming into my life and meeting me as if they had missed me off for a long time, you know, and uh, it was good coming back. I remember in, in one of the towns I visited, when I was parting, the young boy stood up and said, come back, come back, you know, as I was parting. So this is the love which flows between the Khilafat and all the enemies. And it has a, gives me a feeling of being the head of a very large community spread over the world, very close in it. You know, the distances, the, I mean the geographical distances, have not created any distances between us. And uh, they've all been bridged by love. It is love alone which can bridge distances. Um, I know in um, for a number of years there have been um, persecution of the Ahmadiyya movement in the world. Has, uh, the, uh, has the persecution decreased or has it uh, increased? The persecution is uh, inevitable for all movements which are initiated by God. You look back at the history of religion and you'll find no exception whatsoever. It's not what the religious community says or does or holds his views. It is just the fact that they're from God which makes people hate them because such people appear from God only when people have moved away from God. So godliness is lovable only in name, but when they see real godliness appearing among them, how they hate it. What happened to Jesus Christ? What was wrong with <coughs> the message? So simply this, if somebody slaps you on one cheek, offer the other one. Where is that something in it which annoyed the Jewish community so much? It was not the message, it was their realization that the man is truth and truth would come. It was that fear which generated all the hostility against Jesus Christ. And it is the same which always generates hostility against all people who come from God. We believe that the founder of the Ahmadiyya community is a, is a re-advent personified of Jesus Christ. And if we are true, this is exactly what should have happened to us, what's happening to us. But the other side is also true. The hostility on the part of man does not reduce the number of people following the new revealed truth nor it decreases them in influence or strength in any manner of speaking. As if they go through a mill and come out at the other end instead of being pulverized, <coughs> grow larger and bigger. And this is exactly what is happening to Ahmadiyya. This persecution, mad persecution in Pakistan in particular, has given such boost to her 